Welcome to the show. Thank you. So good to have you. Super and, uh, excited to be it, here. It feels like you are relentless, man. Your, 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 your rise is just your rise. Just you're going all the way from, from dope to Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Congratulations Thank on the you. film winning the Oscar. I mean, that Thank was you. amazing. Thank you. <laughs> That was phenomenal to go from that to now being in the Wu Tang movie. I mean, like that's that's a, it's a different world. It's a different vibe. It feels like all of your roles are different. Why did you say yes to this one? Um, I worked on another project with RZA, who's the creator of Wu Tang. Right. Um, we did a movie called Cutthroat City in New Orleans, and I showed him a color that he didn't see me show before, and he was like, "Yo, I think you could play Raekwon in in my in, you know." And Wu Tang coming up. It's actually a series on Hulu. It's my first project on Hulu. So, uh, yeah, I'm super excited about the opportunity. And he told me he feels like I'm going to win an award for that performance. So it, it, it's it's a it's a it's an interesting story because a lot of people may know a little bit about Wu Tang. What makes Wu Tang so important to the story of hip hop in America? I think um, what makes them iconic and and why they still have the impact that they have. Why they can do what they're doing is simply because they're, they're a group of quote unquote felons that called themselves Wu-Tang in the 90s. That's, a, that's like, an, that's Asian culture. And they, they, they involved karate and the sounds and they, they were from the opposite, they were enemies. Right. A lot of them yeah. were enemies. And the story is them, one person taking one side and one side and bringing us together and made something iconic, you know? It's like, separately they were strong, but together they were iconic. For instance, black on black violence today. You know what I'm saying? But what if we all, let's came, what if there was a RZA in a larger form that brought everybody together, you know what I'm saying? Instead of, you know, these people over here, oh, woo, 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 yeah, I'm this. And these people like, oh, woo, 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 I'm this. And somebody that brought these guys together and we were like this and, and we, you know, and held it make, down. Just make a giant Wu Tang of America. A giant Wu America. Tang of America. <laughs> yeah. Wu Tang of dope. America. Just have, have like a few million members, which is like 10 less than the original Wu Tang. Just have like <laughs> Let's... everybody on stage at the same time. You know? Like your story actually starts in the world of hip hop. Yeah. You, you were a dancer, like a, well, you still are. Yeah, yeah, I, was, I still but like, am. But <laughs> like an amazing dancer. Like yes, you to... thank you challenge grown men and beat them, and you were like 10, 12. I was 12, I was, I'm 24 now, so imagine a 12-year-old boy beating me in a dance battle in a club at 12 years, you know. How were you in the club? My mother and father <laughs> took me. I, I, I asked permission, I heard about it through, um, my introduction was You Got Served, so for me, Omarion was the reason I am an entertainer. And beyond that, it was like Chris Brown, I saw him live perform, and it made me start wanting to make music. And then Michael Jackson was like, I was like, oh, I see where everybody else got it. You know right. what I mean? So, so you, you, you were amazing in the world of dance. Then you get into music, right? right? Then you get into acting. And now you're going to be releasing a mixtape. Yes, at the, not this month, probably next month. Um, I'm finishing up some things. I've been investing like everything from the acting into the music. I'm not with a label. So I've really just been taking this, putting it here. Because I've always wanted to do music. I always wanted to like, make videos and like kind of reach that level there. And actually, I was fighting the acting side when I was younger. You know, all odds were against me. And uh, yeah, it, it just propelled my career to where I am. In many ways, it sounds like the Wu-Tang story to me. It starts in a place where people don't expect it to. It blows up and the next thing you know, you're making the culture. <laughs> Man, you just touched me. <laughs> <laughs> my dude, thank you so much for being on the show. <laughs> Wu-Tang, an American saga with Dave in September 4th on Hulu. Speak more, everybody.